Am I the asshole for telling my parents that I'm not taking care of them when they get old? My mom hit me with the question a few weeks ago. I said no, and they kinda gave me a hard time about it. I've been slightly NC with my family for almost a decade although I don't think they're aware of it. It's not that I avoid them, I just don't ever reach out to them and only pick up calls every few months. I'll explain why. It all started when I realized I was the black sheep in my family and it's never going to change and they're never going to accept who I am. I'm not special or different, I'm just a whitewashed kid who grew up in a very Asian gangster household. They wear all high-end clothing, drive expensive cars. I'm a skater, outdoors kid. I spend all my time outdoors, they did not understand it. At 19, after been bullied, failed attempts at being manipulation constantly being told I'm a crackhead, I don't drink alcohol, didn't smoke weed until I was 22, because I skated, I packed my things up and moved out without saying anything. My mom was hesitant at first and demanded I come home. This is where the NC started, I've been telling her for the last 8 years, if she's going to call it's not to tell me how to live me life. And after all that time of me hanging up the phone, anytime she starts going on about my life, she still doesn't get it and just calls back a few weeks later. I've been fully self-sufficient since grade 10, they were consistently out of town for work, later I found one of them was just always on vacation and the other one was living in Asian with his wife also did not he got remarried, after I left, my plan has always been, take nothing, owe nothing. I justified it because growing up, they favored my sibling and gave her everything. I'm talking LV, Gucci, D&G etc. when she was in grade 10, brand new iPhone when it came out and a new BMW when she turned 17 and got her license. I had to pay for everything with my lunch money and none of them even showed up to my ceremony. I later found out my parents left us $30,000 for the six months they were gone and my sister took it for her bills. They've paid for all her bills because she stayed at home and didn't move out until she was 27. Anyways, after all that, I haven't taken a single dime from them since I left 10 years ago. I have a ton of very close friends I call them my chosen family. I still continue to do everything I do I travel almost every weekend. My parents hate it all they don't like me having white friends and they don't like me traveling because I need to work harder. For reference, my sister makes $70,000 max while I do about $120,000. I have great lifelong friends my chosen family and I'm happy that they're not really in my life anymore. This has been burdening my mind for the last while, and I really want to believe it's fair that I feel this way. I'm just wondering why they think they're going to get away with it know what they have provided for me versus my sister. So am I the asshole for not wanting to take care of them when they're old? Edit. Oh shoot, I didn't think this would gain this much traction or have so many people understand. Although, I have this slight guilty feeling about calling out my family online which is causing me to have a hard time reading the comments and accepting that they're just shitty people. I have no desire to be a part of their lives, I don't want to completely cut them off as I'm the type of person to avoid drama. Not the asshole it's completely fair how you feel. Children don't owe their parents anything. They certainly don't when those parents have been bad parents. Not the asshole, children don't owe their parents for being born, I'd say the same if they were good parents to you. But if they're expecting to be taken care of, obviously the responsibility falls on your sister. You have a great family now, the only pinching hand reason I'd say you're the asshole is to yourself for not blocking them years ago. Not the asshole. Tell them their daughter will take care of them. Or they can use all the money they saved on not buying you a car, college, or anything really. Not the asshole I'm not sure why you take their calls just for them to criticize you. It takes a toll on you. Not the asshole. They will reap from you what they sowed. And I suspect from your sister, they won't reap anything at all. Live your life well and don't let any misplaced guilt wiggle its way in. Am I the asshole for telling my coworker that my solo picnic is as important as her daughter's recital? I, 29F, started working at a new company eight months ago. I was head hunted specifically for the role I have, which gave me enough power to negotiate my contract like I wanted. One of the things I managed to get was a clause that prohibited my employer from contacting me outside work hours. If it is a true emergency, then they can send me an email. Otherwise they can't even send me a text. Furthermore, I have a separate work phone that I shut down at 5 on the dot, then turn on at 9 a.m. Another thing is that I don't work OT. I am very efficient, so my work is done by 3 p.m., 5 p.m. if we have an emergency. I also take my whole lunch break outside the office, and my coffee breaks away from my desk. 
My co-workers are not the same. They tend to socialize during work hour, and have work left for afterwards. They sometimes ask me to help, but I always decline by saying that I have plans. I don't go into details, I just say that I have plans. These plans are 99% of the time just include going home, reading books, or sleeping. But that is my personal time. Monday, a co-worker asked me if I could stay a bit later to help her out. Apparently she was late with some essential work, but had to be done by that night, because she had to attend her daughter's recital at 6. I said that I was sorry, but that I had plans. It was a nice day, so instead of going home, I just went to a park to read while breathing some fresh air. Brought some fruit and bubble tea, and made a picnic out of it. My co-worker found me there, and she was pissed. She said that I could have helped her if I didn't have plans. I said that I do have plans, this impromptu picnic. She said that it wasn't as important as her daughter's recital. So I said that for me, it was even more important than her daughter's recital. She called me an awe, and some of my friends agree. So am I the asshole? Edit. So I log off for a few hours, log back in expecting Ma Abe 100 comments. I am blown, and thank everyone for their judgment, not the asshole, you are the asshole or esh. Now for some important things. How did she find me in the park? The park is small, near her daughter's school, I didn't know that, and I was sitting closer to the street. She was driving by looking for parking when she spotted me, and decided to confront me. I guess she wasn't that late for the recital. We are not on the same team. She asked for help because she knew I know how to do her tasks, not because we are on the same team working the same project. For people who are worried about my career, thank you, but don't worry. I am not planning to climb the corporate ladder. All I want is a job that pays enough to live a comfortable middle-class life. I invested in a bit of a niche, rare skill set, and it paid me back with a six-figure salary and being very sought after. All I have to do is to maintain my skill set and keep up with the times, and I will be golden. I have had offers from all around my state, and a few more. For those who say that I am a miserable loner, I have a very fulfilling personal life, with a tight-knit family and a great friend circle. I just prefer to not mix work and personal life, and that means no befriending co-workers. Made that mistake early on, but I learned from it. And lastly, for those saying an impromptu picnic is not, plans, enjoying my personal time is and has always been my plans. You are the asshole for being completely inflexible and you are setting yourself up for failure, no matter how successful you are right now. You have a king of the hill mentality, and you are looking down on everyone else. The day will come when even you need help. Maybe you will get sick or have a family emergency. Maybe the company you work for will be sold or go out of business and you will need recommendations for your next job. Who will help you when you have shown you don't care about anyone but yourself? Not the asshole. You were hired to do the job you negotiated. Not to bail out lazy colleagues. Ever heard the phrase, you're not wrong you're just an asshole? You are the asshole just for sounding like a complete drag to work with. You clearly have different standards as every other employee. This one needed less than an hour of your time. If you're, so efficient, couldn't that have been 20 minutes for you? This wasn't a repeated offense where people have been demanding so much extra time from you. Or blowing your phone up at 10 p.m. This was literally one time and humanity applies here. You lacked humanity. I get it, you're super special. Not the asshole. It's nice if you help her with her work, but you don't owe her your help. It's her job, and your free time is your own. Am I the asshole for not supporting my brother who is engaged to a girl the same age as me? My brother is 26 and his new fiancé is 19, the same age as me. I have met her only once and she is very nice, and really really smart, academically. She's finishing her bachelor's this year. They met about 8 months ago and have never lived with one another. My brother is a recent, born-again Christian and he values his newfound faith very much. So much so he has decided to propose to her because she wants kids, and both of them being very religious, will not have children without being married. Am I the asshole for speaking out against his proposal? I can't get over the fact that my brother wants to marry a woman the same age as his brother. Not to mention purely marrying her because she wants kids so soon. I'm almost more tempted to go to her directly and voice my concern, because honestly I think I would be able to have a more civil conversation with her rather than my brother. He notified my parents about two months ago that he was thinking of proposing and they had a similar reaction and told him to wait. Edit. 
This will be the last time I respond or update this post but to address some points made since this became far larger than I anticipated and you all think I'm supposed to write a novel about every detail of the situation on a Reddit thread. 1. Why is it any of your business? He is my brother. I don't know what your familial values are but I was raised to respect and value my family till our deaths. I very much believe in the mantra of loving your family and even though you can't chose them. I grew up alongside my brother for 17 of my 19 years and none of you people on the internet have the authority to question my right to have an opinion, or speak on the matter revolving my family. 2. So you're just hung up on the age gap and that she's identical in age to you. No not entirely. The age gap concerns me yes. A 7 year age gap between a 32 and a 25 year old is not a red flag in my opinion. But when one is 19, yes I believe that should raise an eyebrow or two. I don't care if she was born the same year as me. I do care my brother someone who has always been seen as my older sibling, and I, his seven-year younger brother, is choosing to marry and probably impregnate someone who is his brother's age. If she was 25 and I was 25 I wouldn't care, don't be ridiculous. Three you're jealous he's finding a woman at her age and you're not, firstly to the neckbeards. I am a homosexual male, who has absolutely zero desire to settle down or even get with someone rn. I am concerned for my brother, as he is rushing into a marriage in my opinion, with again, a 19-year-old woman. 4. It sounds like you just don't like his religious values. I have no problems with Christians or any religion. I was brought up Catholic but I am no longer, I consider myself an atheist if I must label it. My brother is my brother and I don't care about what he believes in as regards to religion, in fact he shares more of those values with my mother, than I do with either of them, and I love them both. What I do not like though is how much his newfound religion has dictated a major life decision. IDC that divorce is legal, doesn't mean it should happen. End note. I am looking for guidance, perspective, and to be judged. I'm too confused for a judgment here. What does your age have to do with anything? Why wouldn't your brother marry someone who is the same age as his sibling? Not the asshole that age gap is disturbing only because one of them is 19. I have a brother who is 6 years older than me and my partner is about 7 years older but we met when I was 23 24 and it's less creepy at that point. She's barely legal and developmentally they're probably in different stages in their life. When I was 26 I wouldn't want to date a 19 year old. That's too young. Her being your age isn't the concern. Her being so young is in the predatory, controlling doctrine of born again Christianity. Not the asshole. Why WBTA if you spoke out against your brother's proposal? Doubly so if you interfered with it by speaking to his girlfriend, fiancé. 1. Your parents already did so. 2. There is nothing you would be able to add. 3. Your brother's reasons are valid. The length of the courtship is not inappropriately short, and a 7-year difference for a 19-year-old is not altogether excessive after 8 months of considering it, especially if the 19-year-old is about to graduate from college. Not the asshole. Regardless of being a Christian or not, I'm Christian myself and this baffles me, he is getting married for the wrong reasons. He definitely needs to wait, they both do. Am I the asshole for telling my niece she should expect similar treatment as my other niece? Name change for privacy. So I'm still processing what I witnessed and heard so please feel free to ask for clarifications in case I missed something. My brother married Jen last year. My brother has Ashley, almost 18 from his first marriage and his wife has Chloe, 18. I have not met either his wife or Chloe since I was not invited to the wedding. My parents weren't told about them till the wedding date was set so they are not at all close with them. I came to visit my parents and Ashley last week. One of the things Ashley is very big on is gaming. Her dream is to own a Nintendo Switch. So after saving for a while I finally was able to buy her a Switch as a gift. I didn't know anything about Chloe but according to Ash she likes makeup so after getting her number things on the makeup, I got one of my female friends to buy some for her. So last week I went to visit and gave Chloe and Ashley their gifts, and when Chloe saw Ash's gift she got upset that I got more gifts and something more expensive for Ash. However, my brother and Jen smoothed everything over with the promise of buying Chloe more gifts, in private they got mad at me for showing favoritism. We had our Easter get-together yesterday and everyone was milling around and talking. Mostly everyone was ignoring my brother, Jen and Chloe but everyone was talking to Ash. Chloe looked like she was about to start crying and my brother and Jen started comforting her telling her, how we are all so mean, etc. Everything was fine until dinner. 
Ash was talking about colleges, she's hoping to get a fashion degree, and told me how she's hoping to get into the ones she applied for abroad. My brother chimes in and says she can't go abroad because he doesn't have any money saved for her, so looks like she can't go abroad. Ash's mom Ruby pipes in and says she's got money saved up for Ash, and I pipe up and say I have two and that if Ash gets into one in the state where I live in she can stay with me or if she gets in on in another state or this certain country I have a few female friends who would be happy to take her in so she doesn't have to be alone in a foreign country. My brother goes, what a butt Chloe. And I say, I don't even know her properly, you can't expect me to do everything for her, and then Chloe starts throwing a tantrum and started saying a very ridiculous fantasy story. And just by hearing it you could see everyone was offended and angry so I told her calmly before someone exploded that, you can't expect to be treated like Ash so soon. We have known her her whole life we haven't even properly know you yet. Right now you're a stranger to us. Give us time to get to know you properly, and soon we'll love you as much as Ash. My brother stands up and yells at us on how we could be this cruel to a kid. I feel a bit guilty now and feel like I should have been much more nicer. Aida. Edit. Fantasy story. Not the asshole. For all the reasons others have given. Also, what 18 yo does this? Chloe starts throwing a tantrum and started saying a very ridiculous fantasy story. I have 19 yo and 20 yo girls. Both stopped having tantrums as toddlers, not at 18. You simply know one more than the other. If everyone can't see that and labels your generous actions as favoritism, they're being silly. Not the asshole. That little speech at the end seemed fair to me. I mean you told the truth. I just would have not said that in front of everybody, or at least Chloe. Pulling your brother, Jen aside and then telling them what you said so they understand that you're not playing favorites would have probably been better. That way they could have decided how to handle explaining that to Chloe themselves. But at the day you can't fake emotions so as long as you're not purposefully trying to be mean to Chloe then I think what you did is justified. Info. What was the ridiculous fantasy story? The step has her own family to buy her stuff. Not the asshole and I don't know why you entertained any of that. From the moment she threw the tantrum over the makeup the gift should have been cancelled. With the Easter tantrum you should have ignored her. It is clear from her behavior you don't need time to get to know her. She is a brat and you shouldn't feed into that. 